I had okay. a crisis in January that uh, nearly took me out, basically. So. Wow. MT family, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another episode. If today's your first time, welcome. I'm Mr. Tando. This is the Mr. Tando Show, an interview platform with unfiltered conversation, games, laughter, fun, and on this one, a lot of singing. Now, if you haven't already done so, please do like this video, subscribe to this channel, and make sure you smack that notification so you don't miss out on any of the episodes. Now, on today's episode, like, when I hear this lady's voice, it's like, I feel like I get shivers. I don't know what it is. Studio crew, give it up for Bella! It's good to see you in person. Like, it's, I'm so used to like seeing you like in these fancy studios recording <laughs> epic music videos, or sitting in like a live lounge absolutely killing it. Ooh, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> so, I'm, I mean, I'm interested to find out where the story of Bella all began. Okay, um, oh, Anna's just gonna hate me because I say this everywhere I go. But, <laughs> I, I started off doing musical theatre. My mum put me into musical theatre when I was younger, when I was four or five. So I started doing like West End stuff. Before um, We Were Rocky was in the Dominion Theatre mm -hmm. in West End. Um, there was a show called The Beatles Roadshow. So part of my drama school was part of that. Okay. Um, so we're doing that. And then I stayed in like stage school, drama school until I was 16. Mm -hmm. uh, studied musical theatre, performing arts when I was in sixth form. Went to uni for music. Like I've just done Been. it. Yeah. yeah. Um, that's how my love grew for it. When I was like maybe 10, 11, that's when I was like, there's a world outside of musical theatre, wow, music. Mm -hmm. um, my my mum and my uncles used to play music around the house, but like, because I was so engrossed in some, like one particular style, I didn't really know that there was R&B. So uh, when I found out, I was like, what is this? <laughs> this is great stuff, yeah, yeah. I want a piece of that. Yeah. So um, yeah, that's how I kind of got into it. That's where my love came from. Wow, and ever since then, you've been an R&B singer? Technically. Yeah? yeah? So why R&B of all genres? Why R&B? Because, I mean, R&B is not the most respected in the UK. So why would, why would R&B be your first choice? It's feeling. It's, it's not respected, but it's like one of the best. It's one of the, the genres that has longevity, and mm -hmm. it's for a reason. And R&B evolves as well. So I feel like what people think is traditional R&B is the R&B that they like not necessarily what R&B is. Mm -hmm. So everybody thinks, oh, R&B, 90s R&B is, is their like, pinnacle of R&B, but it's rhythm and blues, it's evolved, it always evolves. So mm -hmm. um, I think it's just the genre with the most longevity and uh, the genre that says the most to me, anyway. Yeah. yeah? And would you say you're a good singer? I'm all right. Yeah? Yeah, all right. Yeah? yeah. yeah. You sure? Okay. Lisa, would you say she's a good singer? Amazing. Really? Absolutely amazing. She's, of course she you are. To say that was that. a stupid question. She has to say that. I I'm think here. you're cold. I'm I think here. you are cold. Thanks. And you know what it is as well? Like, I, I, I've not known of you for a very long time. Mm -hmm. um, but I feel like you've come in and almost like you've already got that, like, that, what is, what's the word? Like, that, that professional singer vibe, that artist. You're already that artist. And it's like, Wow, thank I you. It. No, I love it. I love, thank I love, you. I love all your swag and your energy and your attitude in the music, the way you look at the camera and all of that stuff. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Ever heard of Song Association? I have. We're gonna kick it off. Okay. You ready? No, but we're gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna give you a word. Okay. You're gonna have ten seconds to find and sing a song that has the word in it. Can you hear him? What? <laughs> Either in the title or in the song. Okay. Yeah. All right. You ready? Kind of. 10 seconds, remember? <laughs> Stop saying it. <laughs> Your first word is focus. Don't lose focus. So much better when I do this. I'm just not going to sing <laughs> so that I get the song and then yeah, we'll sing oh, the no, song. No, you've got to sing this. Don't okay, try. Okay. Uh, it's automatic. Don't need to throw it out of sea. Baby, it's static. Not electricity. Just like an addict, you don't know how to quit. That's what happens when you're dealing with me. I know why you're calling, why you're calling. Oh, 
But you can't say to one and say to the one and I warned you. Ah, you see, you just warmed it up. So, you know, we're getting there, we're getting there. I've got a couple more words for you, though, right? Okay. <laughs> Your next word mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. good. Um, let's take a breather. Can't say where we're going and you don't know either. Foot on the brakes, don't want to see me, girl. Let's try not to ruin a good thing. I vote to remain Cause I don't like change Why can't we stay the same? You're way too excited You went to the deep end And you never asked if I could swim See, I know your love language Is words of affirmation And I ain't got the skills for that But I'll take a bullet for you with no hesitation I admit Truth is I'm scared Cause what we got here Is heaven on earth You're what I prayed for So don't let me down And I'll let you win Let's not ruin a good thing Oi. Okay. Get me? What? You've got to try a thing sometimes. Every time someone comes onto my show <laughs> and does something that's disrespectful, I tell him to shut up. Yeah. <laughs> so shut up. Because that, why? Do you know what? Tell me a bit about that song. <sighs> it was, where, where do we start, right? <laughs> it was uh, the thick of quarantine. <laughs> okay. Uh, I was, um, the project that I just recently put out, The Art of Conversation, got put on hold basically mm -hmm. and uh, we had to rejig our lives. But mm -hmm. Um, I needed to put out music between when I last did and now. Mm -hmm. in, and I was finding myself again in terms of like writing and um, just just my sound and what I want to portray kind of thing. Like I've, I've done a lot of growth and I've matured a lot since my last project. So I just thought, let me sit down, write. I've got to set up at my house and, you know, talk about a situation shit, but in the most great way because mm -hmm. situationships aren't great they're yep. not don't do it entanglements <laughs> will ruin entanglements. your life you will be crying in the basement every <laughs> night <laughs> 2020 was an entanglement it era right an entanglement era yes but i just thought you know what let me let me just be real let me be candid let me just write about some some real stuff and that was it yeah, that was all. I want to go deeper into this. Okay, I want to go real deep into this because obviously, listening to the lyrics mm -hmm. that comes from a a relationship of of some sort. Mm -hmm. You know, oh, okay, maybe not a a something ship. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. a something. -ship. But I mean, for an artist <laughs> to write a song about something like that, it must be really deep, right? Yeah. Do you know what it is for me? Um, the thing or the person I was talking about is they're a valuable person to me okay. do you know what i mean so it's like it's scary like this is so up in the air like mm -hmm. i don't want to lose you as a whole because we've decided to you know take things past a friendship mm -hmm. um so i'm terrified because if it doesn't go all the way where does that leave us mm -hmm. if it stays here where does that leave us and if we end our friendship where does that leave me Mm. I'm gonna cry in the basement. Like I said, okay. don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. Listen, please don't do this. <laughs> don't do Come it. Come on. <laughs> but yeah, man, it was just I was just trying to be real. And basically. where are we now? We good? We The music is great. Yeah. The music great. is amazing. Cool. Yeah. We'll talk about this off camera. Okay. I think Lisa, let's call in the counselor. <laughs> let's call in the counselor. Yeah. <laughs> but I guess off the back of that, you was able to create this, this song, yeah, yeah. which you did a live version for mm -hmm. on, on that you put on YouTube, which was really, really good. And I, and I really, really liked it, um, the setup and stuff. Mm -hmm. But you can really listen. I think what I like about live sessions like that, you can actually listen to the voice mm -hmm. and be the lyrics. Yeah. There's, yeah, no, yeah. there's, no, there's nothing else there's apart no from the voice guys. and the lyrics, mm -hmm. which is good. All right. <laughs> Your next word is one. Like the number one. One. If I ain't got nothing. I got you. Mm. If I ain't got something, I don't give a damn. Cause I got it with you. I don't know much about a kind of algebra, <laughs> but I know 
One plus one equals two, and it's me and you. That's all I have when the world is two, cause baby, we ain't got nothing without love. And darling, you got enough for the both of us. Ooh, make love to me. Yes. I'm a Beyonce fan, so I messed yeah. up the lyrics. Yeah. I'm not even the end. I think even Beyonce would have really enjoyed that. I hope so. <laughs> Don't worry. I mean, on the Mrs. Tanner show, we, all celebrities watch. I'm sure Beyonce's. I'm watch. sure Beyonce's seen that. I'm sure yeah. she's she's watch. she's gonna watch it. Don't worry. Don't worry. Beyonce, if you ever come across oh. this video, <laughs> I just want you to know that one day. You're gonna be on this show. I don't know when. It's a long time, maybe. But one day you're gonna be on this show. All right. Your next word is talk. 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 Where did this song start? God. You're the artist. <laughs> Is it in so, my song? No, I'm just giving oh, you a word. Just, I was gonna say. <laughs> just giving you a word. Talk. Talk. Oh, shit. <laughs> For a minute. Yay. I just want to know your name. Wee. Can we talk? Wee. Can you if you want? Cool. <laughs> <laughs> you want. We've been talking, we've been yeah, talking. Yeah, we've talking. <laughs> All right, your next word is watch. 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 Mm. Watch. Two. Watch. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? I mean. What? I'm not going to give you this one away. I gave you the last one away. Okay. Is this close to home? Is that a hint? Can I ask for a hint? No. All right. I gave you one. Okay. It could be close to home. Okay. I mean, you know Watch. your lyrics more than I do, so... Uh, do I? <laughs> <laughs> Watch. Um... No? No. All right. Not even a little bit. So we can't give you that one then? <sighs> your hard. next one is... Like... Like, can I do the same song? No. <laughs> right. Girl, I'm really, oh. really fumbling the bag. Oh, right, yeah. okay. Um, uh, um, uh, 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 uh. I like the way you move. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, no, wait, hold on. Mm -mm. Oh, like. Uh. No, I'm just singing. <laughs> you make a song and then they'd be like, yeah, this yeah, is the new song I just it. made on the Mr. Um, Tando show. Why not? Um, I'm bad at this game. You're not, you what? You've been killing it all the No, I've, I'm bad at this game. Like, I'm sure there's so many. I'm pretty sure I've got. <laughs> I'm like a bird. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Something, something, something else. I like a bird. Yeah. You know, it doesn't matter what you sing, it sounds good, man. <laughs> it sounds good. Your next word is you. You. Uh, just because you said so, I'll do it because you said so. Yes. If you tell me, hold on, I'll let go. My body weak, but my head strong. I got problems with authority. Trying to keep me grounded for gravity. Sorry, I can fit in your schedule. But I got plans on my very own. We're so... So far gone, don't know right, right from wrong, mm. and we can call it love if it's conditional. Oh, understand? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell me about this song. <laughs> Tell me. Ooh, okay, I made this song in LA with um, Sons of Sonics, mm -hmm. my camo. Amazing, amazing producers. You can, and I know you know it's hard that we think of these cars. Either way, you better work like night and day. Why? I went in and I was like, hey, Mikey, I want to make a song about sickle cell. 
because mm -hmm. I have sickle cell. Um, I don't really like talk. Well, I didn't like talking about it because no. I didn't want it to be my narrative. Because mm -hmm. um, in real life, when you tell someone, "Oh, I've got sickle cell," they start treating you differently. Like, "Oh, mm -hmm. you okay?" Not, and I know it's out of love and genuine concern, but I'm the type of person that, like, I always say I was the worst person to give a disease to because I do not authority people telling me what to do. I cannot do like it. it. So. If there's something in me that is a, a controlling factor as well, I'm at war with myself, basically. Mm -hmm. So that's what the song is. It's about me talking to sickle cell as if it was a person um, and not being so explicit about it mm. so that everyone can relate to like maybe a toxic situation, a situation where you don't want to give it that power or, you know, pleading with, with a thing or a theme in your life that's like, it could be addiction, it could be, do you know what I mean? Anything that's just like, because you've got the power to do this doesn't mean you should. Like, you should exercise self-control, self-restraint. Mm -hmm. And um, it's also talking to me as well because it's, it's all about balance. Like, if I don't treat my body right, if I don't do what I'm supposed to be doing, I'm going to always be at odds with myself. Yeah. So I think I said, like, you lack control and I like what's best for me, which is sickle cell likes control and I like to have fun. Mm -hmm. So... And it doesn't marry. It doesn't, it doesn't marry. Yeah, do you know what I mean? I like to... There was a time where I was like maybe three or four years ago, when I had just left university, because I dropped out a couple of times. <laughs> um, um, Is that all because of sickle cell? Or? No, because okay. I, cause of music. Okay. Because uh, okay. I was like, ah, actually, I'm going to do this properly full time. Mm -hmm. I don't need to study it because I had all of the, like, uh, my producers around me. But um, there was time, you know, you have that, like, time when you're out with your friends and you're drinking and, like, you're going out and it's constant shots, shots. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. But, like, the cost of my enjoyment was I'd spend two weeks in hospital wow. afterwards. Do you get what I mean? But then I'll get up and go again because I'm that defiant. I'm mm -hmm. like, I'm here to live life. What does rules mean? I don't get it. Like, mm. But when I, start, I stopped taking my medicine, everything, it was just, it was a really big protest. But it was only for me. No mm. one else could see the protest mm. but me. Mm. And until I realized that if I want to do music, music's my first love, music's my everything. These med these pills, these everything is an ally. It's not they're not working against you. You mm -hmm. need to be here in order to do what you really love. You don't love drinking. You don't love partying. I really hate the club. I really do. Oh really? Um I mean after COVID I will go anywhere, anywhere, <laughs> anywhere. <laughs> but I don't mind. I don't mind. mind. <laughs> but like after that first couple of yeah. yeah, I don't enjoy it as much as I enjoy creating good music mm -hmm. so I realized you know what you just have to be here to do that now obviously just talking about sickle cell is it's, it's a very um, I'd say not spoken about topic Absolutely. and I mean I've not heard following your Insta I've not really I, I didn't know until you released the song yeah because um, I know at the beginning you had the sort of the little paragraph yeah, that yeah. came up and really explained um, everything so how has that actually affected your music career because with something like sickle cell it, it you could, you know, you could have a anytime. crisis at any time. You could be on the way. You could be touring. You could be wanting to tour. Yeah. You could be on stage, and you can stop. So, how has it affected you? Um, by the grace of God, it hasn't that much. It sometimes it's put a delay on maybe getting things out and all of that good stuff. And but I'm so grateful to have a team around me, and not just like my managers, my producers, my the writers around me. It's like one big family mm. and they I'm like their little baby child so oh, okay. they will come to visit me in the hospital like what do you need like we're, we're coming to bring you food we're da -da -da -da, oh. and it's like well on your time we know what we can do we know what we're gonna do mm. it's cool you need to be here so take rest up take your time and like I was saying the medicine is an ally now that I on certain medication I can function normally and I'm a blessed like, I'm blessed. Like, yeah. my situation is very, very blessed. As much as it's horrifying, like, in January, I thought I was out of here. I'm not going to lie to you. Really? I thought it was over. I thought... Is that during the crisis at the yeah, time? Yeah, I had okay. a crisis in January that uh, nearly took me out, basically. So wow. I thought... That's why when people say, oh, we're in December, I'm like, no, guys, we're really in December. Yeah. I'm really in December. Mm. And so, not just... I didn't just survive this year. I excelled this year as well. Mm. So I'm really grateful, but... Um, I always work, so sometimes I tell people to bring my laptop to the studio, um, to the hospital. I'll lay a verse in the hospital. No way. Yeah, I'm a thousand percent. Really? <laughs> I'm that type of insane. Okay. 
But that's good though because I mean I I, I have people quite close to me that um, have um, sickle cell, mm -hmm. and I know people that you know at the points of of crisis or sort of after you know they can't work yeah. you know they yeah. struggle to secure jobs because i mean mm -hmm. you might be off quite you know regularly yeah. and stuff like that so it's good to see that even through that time you're able to still do your what? job which yeah. is work for you but also something you enjoy as well yes. which is which is good yes, exactly. and how does that affect your sort of relationships with friends or even in relationships mm -hmm. because Obviously, you know, you have to be very careful maybe with who you yeah. want to potentially settle down with. Exactly, yeah. uh, how, how, Tell me a bit about that. I mean, with my, like, friends, like, my platonic friends, it's calm. Um, I just tell the people that are close to me, like, my protocol, here are the medications that I take. If anything goes haywire, mm -hmm. you know what to do. Um, so it's cool, and none of them treat me like I've got sickle cell. It's always like, ah, get up, you lazy thing. And I'm, I'm like, I'm genuinely tired. And ah, shut up, get up. Get and up. it's like, thank you for, even though I'm tired and I'm going to stay in bed, thank you for saying that because yeah. it makes me feel normal, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. In like relationships and dating and stuff, I was even, I was in Clubhouse the other day and they were having this big um, talk, A Star started it. Yes. And, um, I was like, how do you even open up and say, hey, by the way, first date, what's your blood type? I feel like that's yeah, wild for me. Yep. Um, so I don't think I've really conquered that bit yet, mm -hmm. but I feel like um, me putting it out there that I've got sickle cell, all the AS Donnies will just leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good way of sifting, I mean? sifting, sifting it. Through. What are you, yeah, yes. AS? Get what are you, AS? AS? <laughs> What yeah, are you? Yeah. I get yeah. it. You know what I mean, yep, yep, yep. So I don't it really have to sense. do the heavy lifting myself. Hey, yeah, by yeah, the way, yeah. Yeah. just to let you know. Yeah, it was mad. There was, uh, it was so crazy. Before I put out the song, there was a, um, <laughs> there was a guy that moved to me on Twitter. <laughs> What's his name? Let's put his. No, no, no. <laughs> guy moved to me on Twitter. Well, he was going to anyway. Mm -hmm. Like I, I felt it. He was coming the DMs, and then. Um, I saw on his page that he had sickle cell. I just rushed in and said, hey, 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 <laughs> hey. Hey, my sickle cell hey, buddy. buddy. <laughs> <laughs> it was, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's a bit depressing yeah. if you think about it, like tiny bit, but. And have you ever been God. in a situation where maybe you've really liked someone and it's just not been able to work? Not yet. Okay. And I pray to God that I am not yeah, no, no, in no, that course. situation because I'll just fall down and die. Do you get it? Yeah. Like, no, just, you won't die. No, no. You might fall down, but you won't die. I'll cry in the best. So you that's death, basically. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> it. Yeah, no, of course. All right, all right. Interesting, interesting thoughts. Now, tell me, what has your... Um, have you done any tours at all? No, I haven't. Okay. Um, I did um, my first festival last year, so BBC Big Weekend. Mm -hmm. um, and that's it. I've done, like, loads of acoustic shows yeah. and um, cool stuff, but I haven't toured yet. Okay, yeah. it's coming though. In Jesus' name. Yeah. yeah. This year, 2021, maybe. Yeah. Well, it depends. If it's I'm, COVID, I'm, doesn't. If, if it's COVID, COVID doesn't, doesn't want me to fry. Yeah. But we'll I'm praying there. that I get to do some shows and like play my stuff. Yeah, because your music is amazing. Thank it you. Really, really is amazing. Thank you. Have you watched any of the shows before? I have. Yeah. I watched the Rebecca Gott and then the Show Universe one. Oh, because they're R and B, right? <laughs> when you my leave dogs. here, you watch the rest. <laughs> okay? You watch the okay, rest. Okay. So on the show we play Tando Trivia. Mm -hmm. You have 45 seconds on the clock. Okay. I'll give you a series of questions, it's multiple choice. Mm -hmm. You don't have to hear the whole question. If you know the answer, you can just, just say, say it. it. If it's wrong, it's wrong. If it's right, it's right. I went to school. I did. I <laughs> promise you I went to school. Are you sure? I don't no, know. These are very general. Uh, I'm not general nothing. Are you sure? I'm generally nothing. Okay. <laughs> Your time starts. Now, what letter is S next to on the keyboard? A, W, B, D, or C, K? A. Correct answer is D. What is, the, what, what is the legal age to buy alcohol in the UK? A, 17, B, 21, or C, 18? 18. Correct. Finish the lyric. You're way too excited. You went to the A club, B, deep end, or C, moon? Deep end. Correct. What is, the group, what is a group of lions called? A, a pride, B, a, a pride. tribe? Correct. What is the missing word? The something doesn't fall far from the tree. The a, correct. What country is pasta made in? A, Spain, Italy. B, correct. How many signs does a pentagon have? A, three, Five. B, correct. What city does Simpsons family? living a, correct a penalty kick is given in what sport Double. a for correct what artist sang the song foolish a brandy b keisha colt will see ashanti ashanti correct oh. right. Bray. bella i thought i was stupid bella i thought i was stupid i almost ran out of questions <laughs> no 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 i was pre la oh. I went to school, mommy. <laughs> mommy. 
I'm not stupid. <laughs> How many did she get? Nine. <laughs> Come on, Shucky, Shucky, Shucky. <laughs> what? what? I'm a Nigerian. <laughs> we don't fail. I'm shame. <laughs> wow, better. Thank you. Check Honestly, up. I want to thank yeah. the school system. Ah. You didn't fail me. <laughs> wow, Bella. Now, finish the lyric. Okay. You ready for this one? There's no time for this one. I'm okay. going to say a line and you need to finish the lyric for me. Okay. Let's start nice and easy. Guys, you know you better watch out. Sometimes you know the... Guys, you know you better <laughs> watch out. Them guys, them guys are only about that yeah. thing, that thing. Some girls, though. Some girls or guys. Girls Second verse. Same Second thing. Yeah, I heard that. I heard that. Yes, <laughs> Lauren Hill, the thing. Okay, that thing. <laughs> the next one is standing in the front yard, telling me how I'm, I'm such, such a, a fool. Talking about how I'll never ever find a man like you. All right, let me hear you it. Got me to stay. You must not know no, about me. You must, must not know about me. What? I can get another you in a minute. Matter of fact, he'll be here in a minute, baby. Hey, oh, yes, I'm beyond. You really are beyond safe fan, isn't it? It's in my spirit. <laughs> don't say Beyonce, anything bad about me. If you're watching this again, <laughs> I don't know if you've skipped to this part yet, Beyonce. <laughs> but imagine Beyonce, Bella. Featuring Beyonce. Come on. Beyonce featuring Bella. Because <laughs> she's the bigger act. Yeah, Who me. told you? Me. <laughs> right. All right. Next one is you now rocking with the best. But Boy, you don't leave me on hey. hey, I will tell you one last time. Stop playing with me. I'm going to be back. We need you. I love you. <laughs> That's my babes. I know it's your babes. That's why I put it in there I for you. Love you. All right. Okay. One more. Okay. You should get this one. Heart on my sleeve. So my mistake goes and it only hear him up when I'm trying to lose focus. Uh, hey, but they don't know. But, keep coming back like a puppy with a nose. Hey, I got something you like, don't lose focus. Hey, studio crew, give it up for Bella. <laughs> now, Bella, in this 2021 that we have come into, yes. tell me what is next for you? New music, more music more love, my everything. Um, just, I'm just excited about the music that I'm, I'm creating, mm -hmm. about to create and put out in the world. I'm ready to like really leave a, a stamp on, you know, a mark on this UK, firstly, and then the world. Mm. Um, but whichever one happens first, I don't mind. It'll be the world first. Because if it's the world, then the UK is... would follow suit, do you know what I mean? It. So I'm just excited about the music, the content. Um, just, you know, expanding, growing, building a catalogue of music that I'm just really, really, really proud of and, you know, timeless feeling yeah. music. That's what I'm here for in 2021. And Bella, on behalf of everyone in this studio, the Mr. Tandle team, we wish you all the best of your journey. Give it up for Bella, y'all. MT family. On that note, thank you so much for watching. If you've come this far, thank you so much, particularly you. If you haven't already done so, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Let's have a conversation in the comments, yo. I'm Mr. Tando. This is the beautiful Bella, and this is the Mr. Tando Show. Peace! <laughs> Bella, 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 come on, Bella. <laughs> <laughs>